We have come a long way with China. When we were blockaded, we had no way to get access to the ports of South Africa, of Angola, of Namibia, of Mozambique. China helped us build a rail, the Tazara Rail, a rail system that China did not have in its own territory at that time. The China we are talking about that built the Tazara Rail was, is not the China of today. It was a China whose GDP per capita was lower than many African countries. But China sacrificed itself. Chinese people went to Zambia, to Tanzania, who worked on the rail. 70 Chinese citizens died building that rail, and they are buried in Zambia. Their bodies were not brought to China for burial, or were they exhumed and brought to China. Their remains lie in Zambia. So our history is much longer, much more deeper. When we, our independence was being challenged by the racist regimes in Zimbabwe, we had no ability to defend ourselves, especially in terms of air defenses. We approached the Americans to sell us air defense systems. They refused. We approached the British, the French, they refused. Even the Soviet Union refused to assist us. It was only China that came to our aid and gave us a squadron of MiG-21s and some tanks to defend ourselves. At that time, China had no companies, no corporations doing business in Zambia, mining or otherwise. It was selfless assistance to our country. Yes, today we have Chinese businessmen doing all sorts of business in Zambia, but at that time there was nothing. So it was not imperial interest for China, it was simply solidarity with a troubled sister nation.